So presently, South Africans are after Nigerians. South Africans are not happy with Nigerians. South Africans are not happy with Nigerians for trying to claim the Amapiano sound. You know, for some time now, Ghana, Kenya, and some a few other countries have been as Nigerians neck. Like we've been trying to, we've been after Nigerians, you know, for claiming uh, a certain genus for, you know, not being the originators of Afrobeat, which currently uh, I don't really, really agree with that. Afrobeat, uh, Afrobeat belongs to Nigerians, even though it was inspired by the other African uh, journeys. Yeah, but the South Africans are also after the Nigerians. You know, all this while, Ghana, you know, Ghanaians have been complaining about Nigerians dominating the industry. You know, Nigerians have not really, really dominated the industry like that. But, you know, that the rate at which Nigerian music have been played in Ghana... And you know the the, the the audiences and you know some few other the industry players are not really happy with it, but it's not a fault of the Nigerians, and you know night and all this while South Africans have not been complaining, you know because they don't have really really have problem with Nigerians like that. But currently they are after Nigerians for trying to claim the Amapiano sound. You know recently this guy the American rapper. Uh, Swear Lee, one of my favorite rappers in America, just came down to Nigeria and uh, he made a post where, you know, he mentioned Amapiano, you know, and, you know, tagged the Nigerian flag, yeah. He posted the Amapiano with the Nigerian flag. I think, I've forgotten what he actually posted, but I think the South Africans weren't really happy with uh, the post. You know, the fact that he is trying to uh give credit to the nigerians instead of you know giving credits to uh them the south africans you know he didn't why the inch uh didn't he post the made a post with uh the south african flag but rather did it with the nigerian flag and the nigerians are not happy with him hey yeah and the nigerians are not really really happy with the fact that and you know actually he has come out to apologize here yeah? he has come out to apologize that he was Ama Piano was actually introduced to him by a Nigerian. You understand? Ama Piano was actually introduced to him by a Nigerian. Now, and currently, whether we like it or not, most of the hit songs, you know, the Ama Piano hit songs that are coming out, be belongs to the Nigerians, bro. You know, the Nigerians are now there. Uh, 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 the Nigerians has Nigeria has now become the center of attention when it comes to music. So, no matter where the genre is coming from, the moment as uh, Nigerian touches it, it becomes a bombshell. Like it becomes boom. Yeah, you understand? The moment a Nigerian touches a journal, whether hip hop or you know, drill, I'm a piano, high life, whatever in Africa. Charlie, the Nigerians are the trumpeters, they will trumpet it for the world to hear. And you know, I don't really, really have problem with them also. And I think the South Africans also don't really have problem with the Nigerians using the Ama Piano, but they have problem with the fact that they are trying to take the credit and they are not happy with that. And I agree with them. I agree with the fact that they are, they are not happy with Nigerians trying to take credit because, you know, when it comes to the journey, I don't think any country can, you know, uh, ban anyone from, uh, not for, 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 from, from using their journal. Hip hop belongs to the Americans, like I've been telling you, country songs, we've been doing country songs. Jonah Drill is an R&B country rock so uh, artist from Nigeria. When you come to Ghana, we have R&B musicians like the Chase, Kiddies, and all those people. Even Risky does R&B. No American is attacking uh, them for, you know, doing the agenda. You understand? But you claiming uh, to own the agenda is what uh, what they have problem with. And, you know, let me give you an instant. Yeah, there are uh, some time ago... Uh, Americans, I think that was Apple Music or Spotify or Audio Mac. They were actually trying to, uh, they were actually trying to give the credit of Af uh, of Afrobeat to Beyonce. They were actually uh, telling the story of Afrobeat, and uh, they were giving the credits to American Beyonce. And you know, Nigerians came after them. Charlie, don't try to rewrite the history of Afrobeat. Don't try to, you know, distort the story of Afrobeat. You guys were happy with them. Why didn't you let them, you know, say whatever they wanted to say with, uh, regarding the Afrobeat? Because you think, Charlie, these people are trying to take credit from you, the Nigerians. You understand? But, Charlie, yeah, Nigerians weren't happy with the Americans trying to, you know, give credit to 
themselves. You understand? So you people should understand the South Africans. Let's give credit to who is due that credit. What you see, Charlie? That be the truth. That be the truth. Yeah. Just like the high life, Ghanaians are also trying to claim the high life, and that one to agree with Ghanaians because Charlie, well, even uh, the legend repeated that she has even an. Uh, you know, mention it straightforward that high life is from Ghana. You know, he's coming from that generation, so we should know that he really knows what he's saying. You understand? He's coming from the generation where, you know, he's coming from the generation, so we should, you know, get to know that he really knows what he's saying. You understand? And, uh, but my only problem uh, with Africa, especially Ghana, is the fact that we always try to claim everything. In Ghana, we always try to claim everything, but what we don't work like, we don't put in effort to you know trumpet it around the world and if the nigerians do it then we'll be sitting here complaining to be to be charlie we'll be sitting here complaining that the nigerians are you know taking over meanwhile charlie we have it we are not doing anything with it you understand azonto came we were we we, we we disregarded the azontos till the uk people few so dg and some few nigerians you know whiskey hopped on the azonto then we started you know coming after it you understand, Charlie? I think uh, that, that that kind of life, you no, know, Charlie, we for we for shown them, yeah, we for shown them, yeah. So I agree with the South Africans. You know, I'm a piano has always been around, like I was saying. I'm a piano has always been around, like Brenna Fassi had songs that way. I'm a piano, uh, Mafi Kizulu from uh, even in uh, this movie, Guala Guala. Uh, oh, remind me, what's the name of that movie? <laughs> yeah, uh, Mr. Bones, yeah, Mr. Bones. There was a song inside, Ninano, Nizuka, hey, hey, guara, guara. That song was even on my piano. And you know, Mr. Bones came in the early 2000s, I think 2000 or 2001, right? Mr. Bones came in 2000 or 2001, and yeah, and my piano has always been around. But I think the Nigerian, the South Africans are not really, really, I've not really, really, uh, Claim the Azonto, uh, the, the Ama Piano, like that. Even though, yeah, we still have musicians who are doing the Ama Piano, the Master Cages, and all those kind of those musicians are doing the Ama Piano. But, yeah, like I told you uh, recently, that most of the biggest musicians uh, in South Africa that are popular in Ghana are doing hip hop. Like Nasty C, aka yeah, the late aka Mrs. May So Rest in Peace, uh, Casper Nuvest, and all these musicians are doing hip hop. They are not doing their Ama Piano. You understand? So Ashake, at the moment, all of Africa, I would say Ashake is the biggest Ama Piano musician. And I think uh, the South Africans don't have problem with that, but they only have problem with the fact that you people are trying to, you know, take the credit for that. Charlie, that's the that's the only problem with the South Africa. Uh, the South Africans have with you. You understand that's the only problem the south africans have with you shall i even forgot to mention my name my name is jimmy ralph kindly subscribe to this channel like comment and always stay connected subscribe oh charlie you people should subscribe charlie you've not been subscribed charlie, subscribe 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 bro subscribe yeah don't forget to leave a comment charlie shouts to men like adam sling uh adam slings media right shouts to men like that i'm a subscriber to his channel and uh yeah, that's where I got the news. I listened to him and, you know, he actually, from his tone of uh, presenting the issue, you actually have a problem with uh, the South Africans uh, complaining. But I think you should understand, Mr. Adams, Charlie, you should understand. You should understand that, Charlie, the credit. Adam, even, look, if not for you, uh, them going after Sueli, Sueli didn't even know that. I'm a piano is from South Africa, you understand? So really didn't know I'm a piano is from South Africa and Charlie, I think they did the right thing for correcting uh him. I'm a piano is from South Africa. If you're an American, you know I have some uh about 18% of my viewers coming from America. And if you are in America watching this video, I want you to know that I'm a piano, I'm a piano. I mean hey, I'm a piano, I shall kiss I'm a piano, yeah. I'm a piano is from South Africa, yeah. I'm a pianist from South Africa, Charlie. Yeah, and uh, Camido is also not happy with TV3. Yeah, Charlie, it's about time that, you know, the media personnel, media houses and uh, event organizers in Ghana start respecting music, musicians, and, you know, take the art seriously. Like, they, it's about time you people start respecting musicians in art. That's why I, I, I think Burner Boy is still not playing a show. Yeah, that's why I think Burner Boy is still not playing a show in Africa. 
he's still not playing a show in Africa because he will have problem with sound. So when it comes to sound quality, Charlie, we really, we really lack. We are really lacking behind. We are really lacking behind. TV3 uh, recently organized a show for, you know, in Ghana and Camido was built to perform. When it comes to Ghana, Camido at the moment has one of the big... I think, yeah, Camido has the biggest song at the moment, you know, uh, since uh, that one. Uh, yeah, he has one of the biggest songs in Ghana. And uh, he was built to perform. And he wasn't... Uh, he, wa he, he didn't really appreciate the sounds. He didn't really appreciate the sound quality. And... It's not his fault, Charlie. How can how can a big brand like Camido come to perform and you people be producing uh, a distorted sound, Charlie? How how can you people be uh, producing a distorted sound to like Charlie? When you come to Ghana, I think we are not taking the hard thing serious, Charlie. Some of us are. I mean, some of us are not taking it serious. And yet we will be complaining that the Nigerians are working harder than Charlie. It's not only the musicians, so it's also like when you come the whole. Uh, the whole uh entertainment industry the entertainment industry as a whole need to you know learn 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 charlie we really have to you know step up our game charlie we really like i said it yesterday charlie and people were even uh people even uh misquoted me that uh, i'm trying to uh ask us if uh what discredit uh the Ghanaian the Ghanaian musicians charlie i didn't say ghana music Musicians uh, don't produce quality. What I said was, I didn't say Ghanaian musicians don't produce quality music. I said most of, you know, uh, I said uh, yeah, only few, few of them. And when I mentioned few, let, let's say, yeah, I can even mention those people. How full of musicians are producing quality music. You understand? Charlie, just compare the Ghanaian sound. Most of the sounds we produce in Ghana to what, uh, what the Nigerians are promoting at the moment. Charlie, just compare. It's only the people that are on top that are uh, producing quality. The Kidi, Kwame, Eugene, uh, Kamido, and uh, they are the ones producing the quality. But, you know, most of the upcoming musicians too, Charlie. But I, I really understand. Yeah, when you come to Ghana, the money no day. We don't have money. Like the Nigerians. That would be the truth. We don't have money to produce quality. We don't have the money to produce quality. That's why we've not been producing the quality. I understand that, Charlie. You people should understand that, Charlie. We should understand that. Yeah. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected. Yeah, so like I was saying, the Nigerians, Charlie, you people should understand the South Africans are cry and, you know, do what's the like. Charlie, you people should really uh, always try to give credit to the South Africans. Just like how the Americans were trying to give credit to Beyonce, you guys weren't happy. So, Nigerians weren't happy with that. The Afrobeat, dear Charlie, whether we like it or not, no, no, no Ghanaian can tell me that Afrobeat is from Ghana. Yeah, but actually, yeah, fella, I, the, the legendary fella Kuti, ah, Jenna. We all know where the Jenna came from. Sometimes we just try to be media, uh, we just try to be, you know, saka. Should I, no, I, I want to write word. Sometimes we are just playing with, with you guys. But with the high life, they even the legendary Pete Edochi. Pete Edo, Pete Ed, Papa Pete Edochi, Pete Edochi, is it, is it Edochi or Edochi, yeah, as even endorsed it, like he has even, you know, uh, confirmed that our high life is from Ghana, and yeah, even though high life is from Ghana, we are, but we are not doing anything better with it, we are not doing anything better with the high life, Charlie, <laughs> we are not doing anything better with it, Charlie, and yet, if the Nigerians come to claim it, then we will be sitting here complaining, and at the moment, like, did I say this? At the moment, Nigerians are the trumpeters of African music. The moment they touch your genre, it becomes a hit. Charlie, it becomes a hit. Like, you you, you are allowed to, you know, invent the genre. Like, we are allowed to, you know, uh, invent the genre. But the moment the Nigerians touch it, they are the trumpeters. Like, they are the center of attention at the moment. Charlie, when it comes to entertainment in Africa, they are the center of attention. They are the center of attention. They are getting all the hit, hit songs, Charlie. They are getting all the hit songs. Ange Charlie, ah, they are getting... I, I, Angelic Kijo uh, wins the Grammy, right? Angelic Kijo has been winning the Grammys. Yeah, I think only... Uh, I think apart from Berna Boy, is there any Nigerians, Nigerian who has won the Grammy before? Apart from Berna Boy. Yeah, but Nigerians are also producing the hit. 
You understand? And you know, we can't all be winning the Grammy. We can't all be winning the Grammy. So if you don't get a Grammy, at least you should also get a hit song. You understand, Charlie? You know, there are musicians who are uh, who will never win the Grammys till they die. <laughs> Yeah, a, a whole lot of musicians will never win the Grammys till they die. So, in as much as we are all claiming to win the Grammys, we should also search for where we will get the hit songs. That that be my advice to Ghanaians, Charlie. That be my advice to Ghanaians, Charlie. Let's search for uh, yeah, fun time. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected. My name is Jimmy Ralph. Always come back for more.